Hello, and welcome to another semester's edition of The Showdown, where our contestants will show up to show off their trivia skills. Today, we have teams A14 and E5, both living in the townhouses. We're going to start over here with team A14. By the way, I'm Sam Long. I forgot to mention that. A14, would you mind introducing yourselves to us? Hi, everyone. I'm Deza. This is Michaela, and this is Jerry Ann, and we're at team A14. Wonderful. It's because they live in the A block in house 14. <laughs> team E5. Hello, uh, my name's Christina. This is my roommate Nicoletta and my other roommate Rebecca, and we're team E5. <laughs> in case you're wondering, they live in block E, house 5. So we're going to get things right on the way. I hope you're as excited as I am. We got some trivia. It's going to be a real fun time. So we're going to bring up Christina and Deza up to the podium for our first round. So your question, you both ready? Yes. Name something people do once a week. Vacuum. Vacuum. Do we have vacuum on the board? Clean? We'll take it. Right. You guys can head back. Actually, sorry. Christina, <laughs> you guys get a guess. If you get one higher than clean, you guys take it. Okay. Once a week. Um, let's see. Cook. Cook. Show us cook. Wrong. Team A14 um. will be taking this one. And Michaela can come up to the microphone for the next guess. <laughs> okay. Um, do I have to hit it? No, you do not. Oh, do you I? can just... You don't have to hit the buzzer. <laughs> take out the trash. Take out the trash. Do we have take out the trash on the board? That is a wrong answer. Um. Sorry, you can head back to the line. Jerrion? I'm going to say go to Sunday service. Go to church or Sunday service. Go to church. Right. Kanye West would be very proud of that answer. Yes, he That's the second point. Deza, come back up for another guess. Um, I'm going to say laundry. Laundry. Show us laundry. The number right. one answer. Terrific. You guys are killing it right now. Oh, Michaela, welcome back up to the microphone. Happy to be here. Um, um, Name something people do study. once a week. Study. study. That's a disappointing answer. Do we have study on the board? That's another X. You guys have one more. Um, family dinner. Family dinner. Show me family dinner, another Sunday tradition. That is three X's for the team. We're going to toss it over to you guys. We're going to say do the dishes. Do your dishes. Give us do your dishes on the board. That is wrong, so you guys will not be taking it. Team A14 wins this round. Can we bring up the other correct answers on the board? Ah, go out. Going out once a week. That's interesting. Shower once a week. That's disgusting. And work out once a week, unlike me. OK, so we're going to grab round two, Nicoletta. Uh, Michaela, can you switch places? Can you two come on up here? Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice friendly handshake. We like to keep things civil here. What is the first thing people do when they wake up? They pee. They pee. <laughs> Team A14 for the urination right off the bat. Do we have it on the board? Go to the bathroom. Right. That is the number two answer. Team E5, you have one chance to guess the number one seed. I'm going to say get out of bed. Get out of bed for your number one answer. Let's see. Wrong. Wrong. Team A14 is going to take this one yet again. You can hop in the back of the line, and Jerrion's going to play this one. How about have breakfast? Have breakfast. First thing you do when you wake up, that is wrong. wrong. Sorry. Deza, first thing someone does when they wake up. Um, I'm going to say check your phone. Check your phone. That's sure what I do. Got to snooze that alarm for the right. number one. That is correct. We'll welcome Michaela back up front. Oh, um, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth right off the bat. Brush your teeth. That is correct for the number five answer. You guys stay right. alive. And check their phone. Check your phone. You already guessed that. 
Uh, yeah, just, you already guessed that one. Um, All right, Daisy, another guess. First thing they do when they wake up, um, I'm going to say work out. Work out. Interesting choice. I sure don't do that. That's another <laughs> one wrong. You have one more missed opportunity. Take a shower. Take a shower. Show me take a shower on the board. Right. That is correct. You guys stay alive. Jerrion? All right, my turn. One more. Go to class. Go to class. First thing you do when you wake up. The dreaded 8 a.m. Go to class. Do we have go to class? Wrong. That is wrong. All right. Uh, team A, I'm sorry, you guys get one opportunity to guess the other one. Uh, would it be brush your hair? Brush your hair. Do we have brush your hair up on the board? Wrong. That is wrong. Team A14 takes yet another round. That's just disappointing. So we're going to hop right in the round three. I'm going to bring up the other team cap, or the other people that need to come up, not captains. Rebecca and Jerry, and come on up to the podium. Another round of excitement coming up. Are you ready? <laughs> Name something you might pair with a soda. <laughs> Team A14. How about a s ice cream? Ice cream. Show me ice cream. Wrong. Wrong. Rebecca. Um, <laughs> ice. Ice. Show me ice. Ice cubes, ice chips. Wrong. Wrong yet again. Jerrion, that means you get yet another chance. I wouldn't go anywhere, Rebecca, just yet. The way this is going, it looks like no one's getting it anytime soon. Another guess. No collusion. Oh, okay. Okay. How about a sandwich? A sandwich? Another, another wrong oh. one. Rebecca, anything goes here. Anything you might pair with soda. A straw. A straw. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait. Show me straw. Uh, Jerry, and you get cup. another chance. A cup. Oh. Uh, show me cup. It's wrong yet again. This is your fifth chance. Get us another something that you might mix with soda. Mentos. Mentos. Oh, we're not in the seventh uh, grade anymore. Mentos is right. Oh, my goodness. Well, shocker. Team E5 takes this one. You can head back over. Christina, give me something that you would pair with a soda, please. Hamburger. Hamburger, show me hamburger. Ooh, burger, the number nice. one option. <laughs> wow, you guys just keep that ball rolling. Name something good that goes with soda. How about pizza? Pizza and soda, right. American classic. Number two, keep it going. See, it gets easier as it goes, Rebecca. Fries. Fries and soda, show me French fries. Right. Another one right. Oh, Christina, it's all up to you to seal the perfect victory. Oh, uh, oof. okay, a hot dog. Hot dog and soda. Wrong. Wrong. Sorry. A14, you guys get one guess to. Yep, just say something. Uh, I would say Anything. Apples. apples. Oh, sorry. I was mistaken. That team only had one X. You guys can keep guessing. That is completely my fault. I'm going to say chicken, like fried chicken, chicken. Fried chicken and soda. Wrong. Wrong. Sorry about the mistake, everyone. Is it a dessert? It can be anything. <laughs> cake. Cake and soda. Show me cake. Wrong. Three X's. Now I'm tossing it over to A14. A vodka or alcohol if you're on vacation. Alcohol, alcohol, rum, vodka, anything that might pair with the soda. Soda, show me Wrong. alcohol. That's Wrong. That's Interesting. Slandering. Slandering. <laughs> uh, not all of us are 21 here. Uh, yep. That's it. You guys don't get it. We're going to move on to round four. I'm actually going to toss it over to a commercial break real quick. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back on the showdown. You know you watch. You shouldn't be watching this. You should be watching the South TV. Hey, watch the South TV. You know you watch.
Man, Keegan is taking this You Know You Watch thing way too seriously. You Know You Watch LaSalle TV. Have you been to the land of happy? Where everyone's happy all day? Where they joke and they sing of the happiest things and everything's jolly and playful? There's no one unhappy in happy. There's laughter and smiles galore. I've been to the land of happy. What a bore. What a bore. What a bore. Welcome back to the showdown, everyone, where our contestants are still showing up to show off. So we're coming back to announce the score. We have a score update for the teams. A14 with a score of 149 points, beating team E5 with a whopping 89 points. It's not over yet for you guys, because we're going to bring it right into question four, a round of opportunity and change. Let's bring it on up. Christina, Deza, welcome back to the podium. Ready? Yes. Name a liquid no one, you would hope no one in your kitchen drinks. That didn't happen. Ah, oh, you said it first. I saw it anyway. Uh, bleach. Bleach. Show me bleach. Bleach. Christina, Rice. you get one guess. Uh, urine. Urine in the kitchen. I don't know what kind of house you live in. Show me urine. That is wrong. A14, you get to play this round. Michaela, welcome back up to the microphone. Oh, soap. Soap. No one wants to drink soap. Right. Dish soap. Dawn. Bath and Body Works. No one wants any of that. That's, that's going to be right, terrible. A liquid in your kitchen. I'll have to say like oil, vegetable oil maybe? Vegetable oil, canola oil, right. olive oil, cooking oil. I'm genuinely surprised that uh, that was the right answer. I don't know how you feel about that one. That was a guess way out there, but looks like it really paid off for you guys. Name a liquid you hope no one in your kitchen would drink. I'm going to say hot sauce. Hot sauce. I drink hot sauce on the regular. Oh. That is a wrong answer. That is your first X. Okay. Um, Let's see. What's a liquid? Um, Drano. Drano. That'd be dangerous. Show right. me Drano. Another correct answer. Drano. You guys have one more left. Ooh. Okay, I'm at a loss. Uh, I am going to say your drink. Your own drink. You don't want to ah, drink your own drink. Your personal beverage. You hope no one steals your drink. Let's see. Is that right? That's two X's for you guys. One more X and you're out. Mayo is not a liquid. Mayo is not a drink. <laughs> He's correct. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say water from the dog bowl. Water from the dog bowl. An interesting <laughs> choice. Show me water from the dog bowl. <laughs> That is your third X. Tossing it over to team E5. A chance to steal the round. One chance. We're going to say Windex. Windex. You hope no one drinks Windex. You're not a window. Show me Windex. <laughs> Wrong. That means A14 <laughs> takes the round. How are you guys feeling right now? Feeling Great. decent. Um, I guess Lysol. Well, you guys, yeah, you guys uh, already won the round. Oh. I'm just making some conversation now. Uh, it really seems like you guys are just dominating this episode of Showdown. Just relentless on Team E5. That's what we do on A Block. You know? Yeah, it seems like A Block's really superior. Uh, you, guys have, you, guys have, you guys have anything to say? It's not over yet. It's looking pretty bleak for you guys. It's a competition. Yes, it is. We're going to bring it over to question five. Come on up. Both of you, welcome up. I Are you ready too. for the question? You both you drink vinegar. That's <laughs> it's a normal thing. I wasn't thing. expecting that. You ready? <laughs> Buzzers all set. What is something people do while listening to music? A14 with another one. They dance. They dance. I sure do. Show me dance. Right. That is the correct answer. It was the first one too, so you get to take it and play it. Sorry. Do I go again or no? No. Oh, okay. You head to the back of the line. I'm going to say they clean. They clean. Show me clean on the board. Is it right? Wow. It is wrong. That's one X for your team. Daisy, welcome back up to the microphone. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. Um, I'm going to say shower. Shower. Show me shower. Right. 
Shower is correct. Your hopes stay alive. Um, they sing. They sing. I like to sing in the shower. Mm. Show me sing. I have a god awful oh, singing sing. voice, right. as you could assume. But yep, yeah, sing is correct. You guys should really keep it rolling here. Um, how about cook? Cook? I sure clean when I cook. I listen to a lot of music. Show me. Wow, it's wrong. That's a shocker. I wasn't expecting that one. That's two X's for you guys. Um, that was rough. Yeah, it was. Um, I'm going to say they study. They study. <laughs> That's distracting. Show me study. <laughs> no wonder all you people right. fail your classes. <laughs> That's the right answer. I mean, I don't know. It's, you don't know? Well, no, listen. How PG is the show? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, say uh, PG-13. We're not going to go much above that, though. All right. Um, I don't want to. Okay. I don't, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I'm going to say that you should They work out. They work out. They work out. Show me work out. Work Ooh, out is right. right. Team A14 with a flawless round. How are you guys feeling? How did you prepare for this showdown? <laughs> a lot of family feud. A lot of family feud. Uh, these two shows Big are Steve no Harvey fans. nothing yeah. similar, so yeah. I don't know why you'd watch family feud. <laughs> but uh, you feeling good still? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you guys are just, this is embarrassing. I wouldn't want to be on team E5 right now, really showing A block where don't it's jinx at. Us. We're going to head over to you guys. How do you feel right now? We still feel confident. Still feel confident. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, yeah. How do you feel? I'm right now. I'm feeling fantastic. See, I actually represent B block, and uh, B block is better than both A and E block for various reasons because none of you live on it. So I'm having a great time. So we have a score update. It's probably not going to be pretty. I want to be excited to be E5. We have E5 with the same 89 points that came out of the break with, and A14 with a whopping 349 points. That's ridiculous. You guys, I had a lot of faith in you guys, and you just let me down. So we have our final survey, fast point round. Uh, actually... We're going to take a quick break before that instead. Stay tuned on the showdown. According to the Mayo Clinic, exercising has stress-busting benefits by bumping up your endorphins and improving your mood. never stops. I wonder how the basketball team is. You know, there is a show for that called Sports Live. So are you a uh, Carson Wentz or Nick Foles guy? I'm working with Nate Sutton. Oh, really? Interesting. I wonder where we can hear about Philly Sports. You know, there is a show for that called Sports Talk Philadelphia. Do you like Family Feud? Uh, yeah. Do you, like, uh, do you like all shows like that? Yeah. I wonder if LaSalle has a show like that. That'd be kind of cool. There is a show for that called Q&A. I really wish that we could just like display our talents. Yeah, me too. There is a show for that called Explorers Got Talent. All this and more on LaSalle TV.
Welcome back to the showdown where our guests are still showing up to show off their trivia skills. E5 has already been eliminated due to uh, poor trivia skills. So we're going to do something a little different. We are going to be doing a fast five questions. So I'm going to need team A14 to elect one member of the group to send up here for the fast five. It's going to be a real good time. You made your decision? Yes, yeah. we have. Who are you sending up? We're going to send up Michaela. Michaela, come on up to the podium. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on there, you. There is. Really There's actually none because statistically you've already won the game. But that's not the point. We are still going to do the fast five. So I'm going to ask you five questions. Okay. You're going to answer them as fast as possible. Okay. Try not to take too long. Hence the fast five. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Ready. One, two, the worst person to run into on a first date. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Age you would let your child go on their first date? 16. 16. First thing you would do with a million dollars? Buy a house. Buy a house. Name a breakfast drink? Orange juice. Orange juice. An excuse for not doing your homework? TV. TV is your answer. And that wraps up the fast five. How are you feeling on those? I'm feeling confident. 100% confident? 100%. 110%? 25. Now, uh, explain to me some of your answers. We're going to skip over the first one. But uh, why 16? Because, like, you're smart enough and you're old enough. I don't know. Not any younger? 16? Yeah, not any younger. I respect that answer. So you'd buy a house with a million dollars. I wouldn't, like, spend it all on the house. I'd buy, like, a property. What about student loans or the stock market? I run track for that. Run track for the stock market? <laughs> for student loans. For student I loans. know. I'm just pulling a fast one on you. So, uh, wasn't ready. Your favorite breakfast drink is orange juice? I hate orange juice. You hate orange juice. Is that thing. just the first one that came to mind? Yeah, I'm more of like a soy milk. Or soy milk. Oat milk kind of girl. Uh, is there any juice that you like or are you just I'm pure, not about the sugar. Pure fake milks. Pure fake milks. Okay, that's interesting. I'm a big fan of apple juice personally. Too much sugar. All right. So it's time to view your results of the Fast Five. Are you ready? Are you prepared? Let's see the results. Bring them up. The first question was, worst person to run into on a first date? Michaela said, Donald Trump. Trump, <laughs> zero. Age, yeah. I wasn't expecting many for that. Age, you would let your child go on their first date? Michaela said, 16. We had 13 responses in the 16 category. Not too shabby. First thing Michaela would do with a million dollars, she'd buy herself a house. Show me buy a house. Ten votes for buy a house. Another solid response. Buy a house. A lot more people like student loans. But yeah, it must be nice to be you. It's a good market. Name a breakfast drink. Michaela said orange juice. OJ, the juice is loose for 38 ah! responses. The juice is <laughs> loose. You got all of them. That was the number one answer. An excuse for not doing your homework. Watching the television, or as the British call it, the telly. Let's see. Ah! 10 responses. Wow. Phenomenal job out there. Great work. You guys, I don't know why you're laughing. You lost. <laughs> God. How are you feeling right now? So good. So Never good. Never been better. That was just an amazing fast five. I am blown away. Uh, orange juice. Everyone voted orange juice that took the survey for us. Yeah. We sent it out a couple weeks ago, and everyone thought of orange juice. Apparently, no one likes apple juice or I grape it'd be juice. Coffee, honestly. I wouldn't consider coffee a juice, but I am a coffee fanatic. I can't live oh, I without my coffee. Juice or drink. Oh, breakfast drink. I'm just I'm oh. not very intelligent. Yeah. I'd expect a lot more coffees out there on yeah. the voting block. I do love my coffee. I can't live mm -hmm. without it. I drank a cup this morning, believe it or not. Iced or hot? Uh, it was hot. Okay. How do you take your coffee? What's your, what's your go-to coffee order, since you seem like a big fan? Okay, I would say um, French vanilla. French vanilla. Flavor shot from Dunkin'. Okay. Um, that would be maybe some skim milk. Maybe some skim milk. Personally? I take my coffee black because coffee is delicious and doesn't need any additives. But if I'm drinking it iced, I do like the additional French vanilla flavor in there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insult you for that one. I, it's I, very good. I kind of agree. <laughs> Anyone here like coffee? Big fans. Big fans. Go to coffee order. Uh, French vanilla. French. Everyone's on the French vanilla bandwagon. I like it. The caramel. Caramel. Yeah. Interesting. It was great having all of you on Team A14 with a blowout victory. E5. 
disappointed in the E block. You guys should probably study a little more there. That's all the time we have for this semester's edition of the showdown. I'm your host, Sam Long. Thanks for showing up.